Okay. Come back and I'll interview you. Okay. okay. Right. Happy to be here. We have plenty of uh, energetic occupiers down here. We're at uh, Trinity Church right behind us over here. Oh, my steps. Uh, we got plenty of occupiers out here. Lots of energy, lots of positive energy. We love all our occupiers, and we're sure that uh, we're going to do your best to help support them. But there is a definite physical presence here in New York of people that are out here 24 7. So uh, if you're in the New York area um, and you have a chance, uh, to, to drop by Trinity Church. Yours, mine came out. Oh, it's, it's the little piece of plastic actually at the top. Right, that holds it in. Yeah. You see. Do you know what to get the piece of plastic? Um, I would just uh, go on I Stabilizer website and order from them again. Tell them that it came out, and they'll probably provide you uh, with the first ones. Right. What's your name, anyway? Michael. Michael. I'm streaming. It's like oh. Shot or equipment. Oh, okay. Sorry to hear that. So it's seven o'clock. Here. We just have to. When we're out here, we have to make sure that we don't pass this line. Oh, we don't block the sidewalk. Okay, I can understand that. Um, one nice thing about having a wheelchair is that you're not subject to any of those laws because you're disabled, right? I carry my medical papers with me at all times, and uh, and even the other, even Monday the police were actually super uh, uh, super polite to me, right? Because I'm up on them. Did you do? Or were you a part of the wheelchair block at all? No, I went to the meeting on Saturday. But I, you know, I, my my primary responsibility is to live stream, uh, because what I do with my streaming is that when people are getting arrested, I'm right up behind the police and up on the police, and making sure it all gets uh, gets out there and live stream so the police don't uh, brutalize people and beat them up while they have them in custody. Uh, that's primarily my main reason for live streaming, and then my other reason is to educate and inform the audience about what goes on and what Occupy is about, and. Uh, so uh, I, I usually provide for people's safety, and I'm really good at that. And when I'm really healthy, I can do a better job. But like uh, my history in San Francisco is that usually I take on the safety uh, aspect of it to keep people from getting hurt. And if they are hurt, I'm, I have a uh, full uh, paramedic certification. So uh, I can be like online, I can be right there with medical care as well. So, and that's why I, I, I get up right on people that are getting arrested. Um, because I can tell if they're right by watching them if they have any health problems or anything that's going to, you know, how they can get hurt. So I'm there to provide for people and to make sure they're okay. And uh, I take that responsibility very seriously. So Occupy Medic, that's what I am partially too. So I do lots of things for the movement. I do a lot of graphic design, computer, IT work. That's what I do in San Francisco is I do IT work. I get paid to break into corporate network systems and uh, and uh, study their vulnerabilities and uh, attack computer systems. One of my viruses that I worked on a couple of years ago when I was working for the NSA um, it was uh, to attack Iranian computer systems and it's sort of now it's uh, the virus is mutated and now it's spreading all around the world. And I looked, yeah, I was watching the news today. Yeah, I helped write that virus. There's a team of eight people. And, uh, and now it's loose on the world. <laughs> and I'll freely and openly admit that to anybody online. It doesn't matter uh, because uh, none of that can be traced back to me. All right, you, you have to be, you'd have to have skills equal to mine on the computer to be able to do something like that. And with computers, there's very few people in the world that have my skills. You know, so I mean, I've been studying it for. I probably have the equivalent of a double PhD in computer science. So, and that's no joke. But look, let's check and see if we got anybody on our chat. No, nobody yet. Uh, yeah, if you want to talk to me, uh, log on to the social stream. Uh, be logged on with either Facebook, Twitter, or Ustream. And you can chat if you like to ask people down here some questions. Um, I heartily would welcome you to do so. There's a lot of people down here. They like talking. They want to talk to you. And uh, we know that there's lots and lots and lots of occupiers out there. That, are, uh, that can't be at the site at the moment. So this is our way of bringing Occupy to you into your home and on your computer so you can occupy your computer and also uh, get your friends and neighbors and all people that are interested to uh, join us for Occupy Wall Street. Um, and if you're in the New York area, please drop down to Trinity Plaza. Uh, the closest subway stop to here is Portland Avenue. 
on the R line. It's a block and a half away from here, two blocks. So if you're in the New York metro area, I do come down here and support the occupiers. They need things like water, bottled water. They need food. They need clothing, probably sweaters, um, blankets, uh, anything that you have that you would like to donate. Uh, do come down here, and the occupiers are down here in front of Trinity Church, and I'm sure that they would like to have a set of fresh clothing or a T-shirt or a new headband. So uh, come down here and be generous because these people are out here struggling for your freedom and struggling against Wall Street, and they need to show you need to show your support and help them out. Um, we're not asking. We're not also asking that you not make any donations to Occupy Wall Street, the official organization, because I understand that a lot of money has been uh, siphoned off and diverted and embezzled, um, which is generally the case with a lot of the Occupies. So. Uh, if you're going to make any kind of donation at all, uh, you can order a pizza and have it delivered down here. You can order food and have it delivered down here. I'm sure that everybody down here would really appreciate a hot meal and some water. So, oh, that's okay. I'm not gonna... It's all good. So, anyway, you can help out. Uh, it was the one that was attacking the Iranian uh, computer systems. I wrote it back in uh, uh, 2007. If you watch RT, it's all over RT right now. And uh, it's mutated. So I guess we've got about, let's see, about 30 people down here that are occupying Wall Street full time. Um, you're allowed to sit out. Uh, you see this line in the sidewalk? Well, that's the line. So if you go beyond that, you're blocking the sidewalk and you can be arrested. So. Yeah, it's stuck that. That's right. And I got paid very well to do that. But I uh, generally don't do that kind of stuff anymore. At the time I was working, I needed the money. And uh, I'm allowed to admit it. Generally, I don't do those kinds of. I don't generally don't uh, release viruses. Here, get it. Um, so. uh, I'll show you guys a thing. Like, if we're in this, right, and you stay right there. No, well, I'm glad you're here. here. Now, walking in, because you do the right hand, it would seem that he, um, she has got me because it would go like this. So you go like this. And you're taking a picture. That's why you have a cheater in residence. Yeah, but that's. Yeah. <laughs> you know the other one, like. Yeah, watch the yeah. sidewalk. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. like, yeah. like, yeah. like, yeah. This is yeah. I'm above you. Like, yeah. if you're shaking somebody's hand and you go. Yeah. yeah, people. And then you're like, that's why you always sit like, yeah. If you yeah. notice on, on like, uh, The Daily Show, like, I always notice how humble, like, John Stewart is. He always takes the unique position. Yeah. Always. It doesn't matter who the hell it is. He always makes sure to shake your hand. Like, and it's a very, like, very, like. It is. I always, like, if any guy ever does, like, call it to me all the time, like, and I will always, I'll always keep it in the middle. Like, no, yeah. I'll keep it. And then, then I'll explain it to somebody, because I'll show, because, you know, if they try to do that to me, I'll like, you're not dominant, and if you don't realize that, then you should know. But I was just, like, I was just, like, saying, like, really cool that that's the topic that, like, really just comes to the other side. I thought it was a laptop. Yeah, I know, that's what I thought, too. So, like, really, good, fucking badass. That's, that's, that's really small. Like, I don't know. So Japan, you, though, yeah, you might as well just have a phone. Like, I'll be separate screen for that. Nice little crowd down here. We're out here on uh, Broadway and Pine in New York. So if you want to have a pizza or something delivered down here, um, I'm sure everybody down here would appreciate it. They're out here 24-7. And uh, they could use water, blankets, clothing. Uh, anything that you could possibly donate to keep the occupation going um, doesn't require much. Uh, so if you're in the New York metro area, do come down and join us. We're uh, near the Cortland uh, Street subway stop on the R line in Lower Manhattan. Real easy to get to. It's an extreme. Fucking door, you can totally get it on your own. Like, oh, okay.
We'll move down the street here a little bit. Maybe talk to some more occupiers. I want to move down here where people are on the steps. We're right around the corner from the stock exchange. Not too bad. It's actually a it's actually a very peaceful, calm spot here down at, at Trinity Church. We have a cemetery that's here. I don't know if you can see it or not because it's kind of dark. But there's a beautiful cemetery. Uh, it's very peaceful in the middle of Manhattan. How guys doing? I'm out here from Occupy San Francisco. So I've been watching this on live stream for weeks and weeks and weeks and uh, at night and I was like well I was wishing that I was down here and here I am so made a special point to come down here on my vacation but uh, we're getting ready to go back to Occupy DC so Wait, do you have transportation? Uh, well we um what I do is I get on to have a bus that leaves from uh, Madison Square Garden to go to DC it's $22 uh. so that's a pretty good deal 22 bucks Right. Big ride down. That's what I was counting on. That's why I'm still here. And I wasted my 20 bucks last night to buy people cigarettes. <laughs> and now I'm kind of. Oh, do you have a way that anybody can get you money? Do you have a Do you have a PayPal account or a We We Pay or something set up no, online that people could make a donation? Not even got ID because I had a stolen enrichment. I'm sorry. My ID was stolen enrichment. I have no ID, so oh. I can't go pick it up anyway. Well, okay. Um, yeah, but if you're down here, uh, people do need money for traveling, people need clothing. Please, I'm with a group of four people. Three of them are actually ODC members, and one of them is actually trying to come down for the movement. Okay. And it's supposed to be there for about a month, and then heads west to whatever. Okay, and well, what's your name? My name is Georgia. Okay, so if you're down here in Lower Manhattan, and you come, happen to be by Trinity Church, look for Georgia. She could use a little help in getting back to Washington, D.C. Yes, please. There we go. Okay. Do you have an email? You want to give if you want to give that out to our audience. D I A N as in Nancy C E C H T dot healer H E A L E R at Gmail. Okay. You want to repeat that one more time? Is one word. D I A N C E C H T healer. Okay. Just for everybody down there, and. Uh, uh, if you want to help out, Dion, get back to Washington. Okay. I, my, I miss my baby so much. My dog, I miss her. Okay. I miss having her by my side. She's the other part of me. I'm ready to go back. I hear you. I hear you. Okay. Well, thanks a lot. Thank you. And uh, we'll see what we can do and, and uh, maybe getting you down there to Washington. Thank you. Good. Have a great night. You too. I'll be around here for a while. I'm not leaving. Down here with all these wonderful occupiers, they're so brave and courageous. They're out here fighting for your rights as well as their own. What's your name, sir? Sam. Sam, my name's Clark. I'm from San Francisco. Occupy doing? there. I'm uh, like one of the one of the organizers, I guess. You know, it spends a lot of time, you know, doing Occupy stuff. Is it more organized there, or? More uh, yeah, it's here? much more organized in, in uh, San Francisco. because <laughs> you know, we have a we have a long radical tradition in San Francisco. You know, so we have a history. You know, yeah, that so, makes sense. Okay. Yeah. And we got a bunch of Cracker Jack organizers there too. They put five thousand people. Yeah. yeah, we were supposed to storm fucking soccer. Were you here? Yeah, I was here. Seventeenth. Yeah, yeah. Nobody did a damn thing, right? No, we couldn't get close. No. No, well, they were out here, and they could have very easily surrounded us. More cops just, than, than us. Yeah, they could have kettled us. No. I was always like watching for the kettle. Oh yeah, we were getting. Right. We, we, we would have got fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's part of the reason why I do live streaming, is to keep people from getting beaten up and whatnot, because I'm not scared of the police, 
right? Not in the least. And I usually get right up on them when they're making their arrest. We're gonna arrest somebody in a yeah. fucking wheelchair. Well, I'm, I'm also right there on that corner. Down there. Yeah, well, I'm also pressed though. You see. I and, fucking uh, took my banana, bro. I smashed it, smushed it into pieces, and started chucking it into the white shirts. So they were uh, okay. Well, the, but the guy was like retarded too. He wasn't, you know, you Okay, are, yeah, yeah. But he had like a mental illness. Yeah. He was like, you know, I understand. He wasn't um, well, one thing and you should realize. Them. What was your name again? Sam. Sam. One thing you should realize with the police is that not all of them hate Occupy. Matter of fact, most of them are support what we're doing out here, and so it's always important to try and respect the police, even when, even though there are pushing us around. You know, because a lot of them wish they could be here, but you know that you just can't quit your job, you know, because then you'd be out of the street. Then again, there's a lot of them that don't agree. With yeah, there's a lot, true, but I've always found it's always a better policy. Yeah, they see the people, the kind of people that you know, kill in New York. Right. It's like homeless. Actually. Right. Well, I mean, I shouldn't be talking. I'm drinking a beer. Yeah, that's okay. You know, whatever. You know. Actually, um. But I did everything that I had to do today. Yeah, well, it's not it's not out here like you're loaded and shit. Um, I personally, uh, my feelings are, uh, whatever you feel it's good. Most people, unfortunately, handle their alcohol, which is generally why I always like to say, well, I don't encourage people to drink, you know, but if you, you seem like you're doing okay, so no, that's yeah, fine, I'm not, right? I'm not one of those, I'm a happy kid. And, and I'm are you, a, you sell, drunk. you sound like, want to be around. <laughs> okay. You sound like you're from New York? Yeah. Okay. Born and raised. All right. Cool. I look like I'm from California, right? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you got a nice tan. That's for being outside this summer, I would imagine. Right? That's cool. Yeah, I, uh... When are you leaving? Uh, um, I'm going to be leaving here Friday. How are you getting uh, a plane or bus? Uh, I uh, took a plane to Washington, yeah. D.C. And I'm going to go back down there. I have to stop and see my family in Baltimore. Oh, okay. And then um, yeah. then back down to D.C. And see my other family in D.C., my activist family. And then, uh, then I'm back to San Francisco for a little while. And then I'm coming back out of here because I want to move to New York, not full time, but maybe two weeks, two weeks a month, because I'm like bi-coastal. And uh, um, it's cold the, here in the winter. Right? Uh, I know. I grew up here. I grew up in Baltimore. So, and I got the well, train. That's even worse than here. So yeah. You know. Baltimore is even worse. It's not even that far down south. It's yeah, worse. I always have the option to go back to San Francisco, though. See, I'm gonna that's keep my good option. I'm gonna keep my place in San Francisco. Because I'll pay you a little, little bit, right? And in San Diego, it's like perfect weather all year round. Like, you know, like like 70, between high 70s and low 70s depends all on, year round. Depends on how far away you live from uh, live from the beach. Like, if you live close to the beach in San Diego, it's always beautiful all the time. it's like utopia there. Yeah. Like, at, like, the weather is fucking phenomenal. Yeah, it's phenomenal. But if you get uh, about three miles inland, it's hotter than fuck. Yeah. It's a desert. Right. Uh, Okay, so, so you got to stay by the beach. Desert. That's I right. Get it. I get it. Right. That's probably the reason why the weather is so beautiful. Right. San Francisco is like that too. Because you got the water to cool the shit down on the coast. Right. And then fucking, when I was in Arizona, when I was in Arizona, it was 123 degrees. You know how fucking hot 123 degrees uh, I know how hot it's 123 degrees is. Holy shit. But dry heat. I went in the pool, got out, so wet. Went like this for a... I think it was like like 120 seconds and I was bone dry. Yeah. Bone dry. That's real dry there. Standing like this for like a minute. A minute and a half, something like that. I'm not a big fan of the desert. How's it going? But it was beautiful. The landscape was absolutely beautiful. I'm not a big fan of Arizona though. Absolutely. Beautiful. I've been jacked Especially up. Especially when you get to the point where you can see the mountains in the distance. And it's oh. just like flat desert. So. I like New Mexico better. I've been to Mexico. Mexico is my favorite place. Yeah, after uh, after New York and San Francisco. Yeah, that's nice. But after New York and San Francisco in the United States, Santa Fe, New Mexico, is where I that's that's the place I would consider living. Mexico. Yeah. Now New Mexico. Albuquerque. Yeah. Albuquerque is not much to speak of. It's desert, though. It's all desert, isn't it? Yeah, but when you get up to Santa Fe, it's 8,000 foot in altitude. What? It's 8,000 foot in altitude. Oh, okay. So, uh, it's like, uh, they got a big mountain that's, like, huge. They're skiing. I got, I got yeah. It. It's really nice. And Santa Fe's, yeah, uh... when you get in the mountains, it'll actually snow. It'll be desert down here, and then on the top of the mountains, there'll be snow caps. Yeah. It's yeah, it's, they have beautiful, uh, evergreen forests up there. Yeah. 
Anyway, I like it. There. There's not a lot of work though. That's my reason. That's one of the reasons I Arizona too. That's why I had to leave there, bro. The economy is like the second worst economy in the nation, besides Mississippi, I think. Mississippi, yeah. I think, is the worst. And I do and IT. Arizona, so I had to leave there. I do a lot of IT stuff myself, and um, I don't. I generally don't have any they, trouble finding work. When they built everything, it, instead of like you know making mom and pop stores, it's all Dwayne Reeds and fucking banks and. You know, it's and, not just here, it's everywhere. Arizona, yeah. yeah. This is an Arizona, like outside of Phoenix, the outskirts. Right. And it's all fucking big corporate companies like Walgreens and, you know, and shit like that. No mom and pop stores. You don't see no mom and pop stores out there. That's why I think the economy is so shitty, because you got all those people with all these, you know, big places to serve you. Well, you don't need a lot of people to work in these places like this. Well, I get a government pension, too. So, for breaking my leg. I shattered my leg a couple of years ago. This world mm. is like ass backwards. Yeah, I know. Everything is ass backwards. It doesn't function according to the rules of common sense. The only thing that I think needs to be done is the government needs to deregulate all the jobs. You know how, like, you need a fucking certification to be, you know, a radiologist or a fucking... To even be a fucking restoration worker, I bet you that nigga needs a license to fucking to do something. He needs a license to work. Yeah, which is and ridiculous. If they, and if they and you have to pay for that license, which is bullshit. Well, some professions, you do. It's uh, it's actually uh, good except to have a license. For, except for security, uh, or I medical, you shouldn't have a license. medical work, uh, legal work. Uh, there's a lot of things. I mean, you should you should at least belong to some kind of association or union. Like uh, that, uh, but that's it. You know, you don't need to have a license to work in Dwayne Reed. No. Or to, or to make coffee at Starbucks. You know that you have to have a license to make coffee at Starbucks. You know that, right? No, you I didn't do like, that. Take a class for that. Oh, it's like Las you Vegas. You pay like four hundred dollars before you can work there. It's like Las Vegas. That's the same thing. To be in the food service industry. Oh, shit, yeah. Well, it's good because some people need to learn about proper handling of food and stuff. Give them a little education on how to pass Tomain and whatnot. Ugh. Thanks a lot for talking with me, Sam. See you later, boss. I'll be around. I'm not leaving. I'll probably try and come down here tomorrow as well. Uh, you too. I'll be here for a while, though. Now we're moving down here a little closer to Trinity Plaza. How you doing? How you doing, sir? Uh, not too bad, not too bad. How are you gentlemen? I'm on you. Great. I'm oh, feeling great. great. And you feel good, that's all that matters. Yeah, I'm doing really good. Yes, I'm enjoying my trip. Got some, some nice artwork here. This is so entertaining. You ever seen googly eye sidewalk chalk? No, <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I don't even think I want to use them. They look cute. They do. Oh, I do want to use it. Natalie Street, just down the street here, right in the middle of the block, and we'll walk over there in a second and show you what's going on. One of the reasons why occupiers are able to stay out here is because this is on federal property, so the city of New York has no jurisdiction here. So this allows occupiers to come down and occupy this area and without fear of being arrested. As long as they stay, there's a little crack in the sidewalk down here, I'll show it to you. Right? I don't know if you can see it or not, but if you get beyond this crack, you can be arrested. 
So that means you're I'm on city property and you're on federal property. We have the same thing in San Francisco. It's crazy. Like um, when we do medical cannabis demonstrations, right? You're allowed to medicate, like like it's right. It's the same thing. They got a little line in the sidewalk. Yeah, it's crazy, right? So, but everybody down here seems to be pretty disciplined, and everybody's nice and clean. It looks like everybody has enough to eat, enough water. Um, if you're down in this area by Trinity Church, occupiers down here would appreciate blankets, sleeping bags, water, food, uh, and your support and your physical presence as well, right? Because uh, it's a lonely. Well, it's not so lonely, but you know we need to. We, it's nice to have people come down here and show their support. So, and what's your name? Jeannie. Jeannie, and where are you from? Are you from? Uh, are you from New York City? San Francisco, New oh. York, both. Okay. That's great. And yeah. uh, how long have you been out here? Um, I go back and forth between San Francisco and New York. But basically, I've been living in New York since 1993. Okay. Right. You've been back to San Francisco recently? Last year. Okay. Yeah. For Occupy, would you happen to be down there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm just down at their federal, uh, the federal class Federal of Reserve? Occupy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. It's good. Great. We had, a, we had a huge demonstration on Monday in right. San Francisco, 5,000 people. Oh, wow. So. Fantastic. We're getting bigger. Uh, Right, yeah. The deal is Ducati starts in five minutes. Okay, well. I don't okay. know if you're interested. Yeah, let's go back. In yeah, we're going to go back and check out GA and see what's up with that. Oh, yeah. The meditation. Yeah. yeah. It's more. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just hang out and check it out. I just been trucking all over the place. I'm like. Yeah, I hear you. Get some rest. Thanks for talking with me, Jeannie. Yeah, come back later. We'll be back. We're not going to leave just yet. Oh, you need to tell me your guys' name. My name's Clark. Clark? And this is Trinity. I mean, Tiffany. Tiffany. Well, my name's Tiffany. He's accidentally called me Trinity a few times, and I think I just would rather go by that. Wow, that's like a really good sign. <laughs> yeah, right? I think so. I think so. Definitely. Cool. Thank you. Tell me your name. Jeannie. Jeannie. Pleased to meet you. Yeah, I don't know. About the stream lagging. Uh, history of, uh, check it out while in town. His, his, history of Trinity Wall Street is very interesting. Thank you, Susan Maui. It's very interesting. Uh, and uh, I to learn one. I have lots of people that watch this live stream, so right. uh, we're out there. We're mirrored by a couple of other sites. I'd probably estimate I have at least 500 viewers right now. Oh, right. So, yee well, you're gonna really enjoy the yoga. Yes. Okay. I need so it. we're gonna make our way down there. Let's go this way, and I want to go by the steps. Okay. And uh, and then uh, we'll go back to uh, we'll go back to Zuccotti right. for uh, the meditation. All right. Sure. All right. We'll get some rest. And we'll be back, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Okay, Bye, sweetie. Oh, I, miss on the I don't miss it at all. <laughs> I've slept. I've slept on the pavement so many times yes. in demonstrations and whatnot. I, I just don't have the physical wherewithal to do it anymore. Unfortunately, okay, yes. I'm an old man, getting older. <laughs> but I'm not that old. Lots and lots of brave occupiers out here, and they're out here for you. And uh, your rights to be a uh, to challenge the one percent. Yeah, see, I got breaks, so. Yeah. And these shoes are plenty of tread on the bottom, so. Oh, let's see. Aloha, Clark, Tiffany, and Jeannie. Um, Susan from Maui. I know we'll cut it right here. There's more up. Whoop, 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 whoop. There we go. We're at Historic Trinity Church here. Um, this is uh, what I believe that the Declaration of Independence was crafted here. Maybe that's when. There's another subway station. That's Rector. So if you're in New York, that's another subway stop that you can uh, get off on. That's on the R line, which serves this area. Um, at first, I found subway in New York to be a little bit confusing, but uh, not so much anymore. Okay, our sidewalk is closed here, so we will have to get up and cross the street. Oh, no, it's okay. We'll be all right. It's just the sun is just set here in New York. Uh, it's beautiful weather. Fantastic, actually. I'm put my bag in all right, yeah, take your time. All right, off we go. 
No, we, yeah, we, we couldn't ask for better weather. Um, oh, up there? Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the street's good, huh? Yeah. Got plenty of sidewalk here. How nice the wrap that they built here for a bee. Yeah, no more camping either right now. Well, actually, I'm, when I get a little bit healthier, I'll be able to spend some more time. My biggest problem, believe it or not, is actually getting up off the ground. Uh -huh. It's very difficult for me. Oh, I know. And, uh, it's hard enough for me, and I'm not injured. So, well, I'm not injured anymore, but, you know, it's just my muscles are built up enough. Okay, we got a little bit of a... No, we'll be able to make it. This is nice and smooth. Oh, oh, Ooh, oh. There it was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you think yeah. it coming in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Getting around here, being disabled here in New York, is a real has been a real uh, demanding uh, for me. But uh, I have the you know, there's all these nice young people that are willing to get me about and out and about. I think I'm gonna buy a pizza after we get done with the meditation. That way we can bring it back and give it away to people so they can have something to eat. Yeah. No, no, oh yeah. And if I had just a little extra more money, I think I would pay for that girl's bus ticket. And get her back to San Fran or get her back to Washington. It's 22 bucks, and I, I don't want to give her the money because I don't know her. But I will be willing to like give her a time to meet me at the bus stop for when the, the to when when we go back to uh, when we go back to uh, to go to Washington. You know. Well, so we're back down here at Zuccotti. Well, I don't mind. That's what I came out here to do. Totally. And besides, it's all paid for through the gracious uh, generosity of Uncle Sam. Thanks, Uncle Sam. Yep, I got that notice in the mail. Dear Mr. Sullivan, we have made a mistake in calculating your Social Security benefits. Here is a check for $1,700. Woohoo. Yeehaw. Well, that's why I'm here. It's, it's paying for this trip. So thank you, Uncle Sam. So, Cody Park, I love these lights that are embedded into the silo up here they're quite actually uh, aesthetically pleasing yeah. there's always all kinds of wonderful art here in New York City uh, one of the major attractions of being here is all the art and uh, I don't see a meditation circle here I don't there. see shit no so what's the oh, saying she says they're over there okay thank you thank you so all I gotta do is open up your mouth how you doing okay. don't be shy yeah people in New York when they look at me, because um, I'm always like nice, hi. Uh, they get a little weirded out by me because I'm so friendly. I don't see anything. No, she said it was down here somewhere. I don't see Jack. Oh, it but, must be maybe around that street down there. There's just like two or three people. Okay, well, let's go down there and see what's up. Uh, I'll let these people take their There you go. If you want, if you want, I can take a picture of all three of you together. Okay? Okay. Right. Now this uh, area, after you, sir. I'm not in a rush. You look like you could be going real fast. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> no problem. How fast are you going Oh, a good 30 miles an hour downhill. And you get the free show. I'm damn lucky. <laughs> no, no, we're friends. We just met here in New York, as a matter of fact. We, uh, we're activists. Organizers. Organizers. With Occupy. Yeah. So, Occupy Wall Street. We're, uh, Where we're at. For your freedom and your ability to make money and to have a secure and safe and prosperous life. Every single one of us. I can tell you to a shop. Thanks. By holding you back here from anything. No, not at all. Ah. Yeah. Not at all. What's your name, sir? Mark Lawrence Francis Patrick Jones. Nice to meet you, Mark. My name's Clark. Born in Skibbereen, County Cork, Ireland. Okay. Right. So, but you're a resident of New York? Uh, yes, I am. And I'm a merchant marine. And you know what? I see this shit. Ooh, I shouldn't say that part. That's okay, it's not a family program. <laughs> Don't worry about it. And I see this crap goes on here. You guys are doing good. You 
doing real good. But is it really making that much of a difference? Well, we changed the whole course of political debate in the United States. Yeah. It right? takes time. It takes time, but we we've, we've made some major changes. Yeah. You know? Changed the conversation, which was the. I mean, we're not finished points. yet either. But, uh, right. yeah. I mean, civil rights movement, how many years the civil rights oh, movement take? A good 30 there? years, yeah. 30 years. So we just can't expect everything to change overnight. Let, 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 let me tell you a little bit about my story. I work on the ships. I'm a merchant marine. We're all gambinoed up in, you know, galleys and all those guys. And they say, uh, hey guys, here's what we got to do. You're going to pay us $100 a month to put you on these ships. You don't like it? Wait. We'll get somebody else in. And they bust on you. They said, you're a good Irishman. They said, you know what you're doing to see? You know how to work at this. They say, we want that hundred I said, but where does that hundred dollars a month really go to? They said, you don't really know where it needs to go. Really? I said, but I would like to know. They said, you want to be thrown off the end of this beer? Scary. I said, yeah, I think I know where it goes. Did you take a guess at that point? It goes to here and it goes to there. And if you work, want to work on that ship, I said, you're telling me that I, if I have to work on that ship, that I have to pay you one? I said, do you think you're in no good I'm going to say a really bad word here. You think you're a good, real good motherfucker? I'm going to tell you. You want off, you want on. What do you want to do? And what is your nationality? I am a, I'm full blood mutt, <laughs> mix of European, uh, Danish, French, Scotch Irish, and uh, Native American. That's a pretty good twist. Yeah, yeah. And your friend here is. I'm German. They're tough bastards too. <laughs> you said it. I am one tough bastard. <laughs> You get to know me. You have a bit to, uh, now where are you from in Germany? Uh, Nuremberg. Right where they had the war crimes trials. Okay. I've been over there. I've been to Nuremberg. Nuremberg. How the fuck did I miss that place? I don't know. It's actually, um, it's been a city for, uh, 1,200 years. So. I've been to Garmisch. Okay, Garmisch Parch Garden. We're skiing, yeah, skiing. Garmisch. Munich. Berlin. Tiergarten. Well, well, that's the park over there. Stuttgart. And all these places. And I've never been to your hometown. I know. Well, I'm going. I'm going to try and go back there next year. So, I'll say hi for you. And they're tough. They're tough people. Well, uh, German people have. Uh, I'm quite proud of them now because uh, they don't have a war economy, and uh, they're actually going to be the first nation on the planet to be 100% solar in the next five years. I saw so that. that's, so that's real amazing. But, but, oh, 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 oh. Setting the example. But about ten years ago, didn't they have a problem with education over there? Uh, uh, no. Nah. Not anymore. If they did. Uh, no, German economy is still pretty much German economy is carrying Europe, but. That's neither here nor there. It's still capitalism, you know. Hey, we're gonna we gotta move on. We're gonna move on down here. 
and go to the meditation. But what was your name again, sir? Mark Lawrence Francis Patrick Jones. Okay, Mr. Mark Jones. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Uh, you need a hand down there or anything? Or? No, we're fine. We'll be fine. She's she's a lot stronger than she looks. <laughs> she's How a about woman. if I did one of these things, like, just for old time's sake? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> you down the... I think I, I can run fast. I think I, I think I can make it. He's got brakes. Thanks a lot. Thanks nice talking uh, to you, sir. Let, let me ask you a question. Uh, yeah. What happened? I shattered my leg. Like. Get the scar to prove it, there. Yeah, you can see down there. You know, it moves and everything. Woo. So. Ouch. Yeah. But I'm okay now. I'm getting better. Both of them? No, just, just my left one. one. Just one. Well, have a fantastic week. Take care of you. Okay, we got the... Occupy meditation. So we're going to be quiet.
want to move. I'm going to move away from the meditation for a second. They have meditation down here at the corner at Zuccotti Park. It's every day from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. So if you would like to come down and meditate with other occupiers, this is an activity that happens on a daily basis. And, and they'll welcome your presence down here. And it's a way to get centered. I'm going to come back in. Douglas 5937, thanks for your comments. Yeah, there is no easy cosmetic fix, that's definitely true. Uh, we have a wonderful yogi master down here, teaching meditation. Very easy meditation, open your mouth, as far as open as you can. Take the tip of your tongue and touch the top of your mouth, the roof of your mouth. Concentrate and focus your eyes at the end of your nose and breathe deeply through your nose in and out and that is the meditation do this for three to five minutes and it will calm even the most restless mind thanks for watching we're down here at the meditation circle at occupy wall street at Sakati park this meditation happens every day from 6 30 8 p.m. weather permitting. So if you're down here in the New York metro area, please come down and join the meditation circle. I was a real person for a second. <laughs> they have a guy down here that does the, the still. Right, that's what I thought it was. Yeah. All good. 
Let your eyes just close down and move from the elbow just in a relaxed way. Breathing through the nose, just bring your attention to the nose and nostrils. Uh-huh. 
Flip the hands again, back to the original position, and keep going. It's, you're working with the breath. You get really powerful. the breath, keep the hands in the same posture now, right hand is facing down, left is facing up, you're not bouncing anymore, and you're just being totally still actually, and breathe long and deep and relax, and maintain total stillness, and also quiet your mind, just tell your mind to be this is to allow your body to heal itself now. After the exercise, the active, you're having passive sides. Totally still. Quiet mind. Relax breath. can also try this. It's a good meditation. Very 
here at Occupy Yoga. Try to keep totally still, holding the posture. Whatever is your resistance, just observe it and research it. But you notice that you're researching something five to five at the moment. We end this one. Inhale deeply. Make your hands into fists and squeeze both fists into the center of your chest. Hold the breath. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Press them into your chest. And exhale. Inhale deeply again. Squeeze your fist now into your navel, just below your belly button. Squeeze it in. Clench your fists. Hold the breath in. Exhale. Last time, bring the hands up into fists by the shoulders. Inhale deeply. And press your rib cage. Squeeze your rib cage really hard. Squeeze your fists. Squeeze your body. And exhale.
three minutes each side. It's a new favorite for me. Five minutes of the silence. Good. <laughs> I'll give you the notes so you can take it home and start practicing it today, Great. tomorrow. You're, uh, you're down here every day? Good, right? From six, you're down here every day from 6.30 to 8.30? Wednesdays. Wednesdays, okay. But we can work something out. Okay. Okay, okay, it's for people out here out watching hand. on live stream. So. <laughs> oh, great. I have a couple hundred people watching, so. Yeah, yeah, I'd love to do some more stuff on live stream. Good. So, Namaste. we got to go in order of pizza. Let's do it. All right. Well, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. I have to go run okay, the you're gonna go. Okay. Namaste. I can remember, though. I'm going to go afterwards. Here, I'll give it to you. Oh, all right. That's wow. Well, we've well, we got we to gotta go back to the really church because I've got to order a pizza. I want to bring it back with me and <laughs> make sure people get fed. <laughs> We have a little time limit. Wow. No, I'm sorry? Yeah. Wow. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much. We need you here. This whole place should be filled with people. No doubt. It will be again. It will be again. Thank you. Wow. And we will practice your meditation. All right. You got it? No. All right, it's pizza time for the pizza occupiers. Time. We'll go over to Steve's. What do you think? All right. Uh, either way, we? either way, either way you want to go. We got the we got the light. Okay. So we're gonna go over to Steve's Pizza here and order a pizza for the occupiers and bring it back to uh, St. Mark's or uh, St. Uh, Trinity, whatever the hell it is. And that meditation is <laughs> better than any drug I could buy on the street. Oh yeah, well, with the exception of one. <laughs> it's cheaper. Uh, I generally don't pay. I want you a little cigarette, you don't pay anything for my marijuana oh, okay, ever. yeah, you're right, you're right. If you know the right people, you don't pay for anything, yeah. Yeah. So we're on our way to order a pizza for the rest of the occupiers. Yeah, we're going back to the church there, Douglas. Um, I'm going to go pick up a pizza here first. Bring some food back, because I know people are hungry there. Yeah, I got it. Uh, Howdy. I'll get a pizza menu here. I don't know if they're wrong. No, they don't sell pizzas at this one. No, we got to go really here. Yeah. No, we go over here. Get our pizza. Ah, okay. The only you got one it? You put, yeah, I got it. Got a bag getting in the way there. There we go. Hello. Uh, what is the order for pizza? Yeah, how much for a large uh, pizza to go? Large pizza, plain cheese is seventy forty-five. All right, I'll take one of those. Large to go. Primo, mira que está todo slime. Primo. How you guys doing? How you doing? We ordered the same. We ordered the medium. Oh, okay. To go. So right. We got a lot of hungry occupiers up at the up at the church over here. Oh, excellent! So I'm. Um, is it already happening? Oh, it's going on. It's had to stop. I, I love the color of your hat. Thank you. Well, thank you. It's very. I just very picked it up in Brooklyn. Today. No, did you? It's a beautiful. I heard a million I this uh, this yeah, fall. I'm sorry. I heard a million's gonna come this fall. I hope so. Really? We need everybody we can get. Hey, why don't you take the camera for a while? I'd love to. And uh, you can say, what do you what do you exactly? This is uh, a live stream. We're, uh, we're, uh, we're, yeah, like, yeah. Like you, know, you know, you know what's fucked up though? This is George W's personal, uh, ingredients in this, in this, uh, crust. Yeah? Yeah, George W, this is his, uh, personal pan pizza right here. Wow. Yeah, okay. Oh. <laughs> well, it's funny because, uh, we had an uh, Egyptian, um, activist here and he's actually been to George W's house. And uh, he is one of the main uh, organizers for the Egyptian Revolution. But uh, yeah, it's, it's interesting. There's some interesting stuff about, uh, especially the Egyptian, well, Libyan side. It's pretty interesting too. But uh, well, that video that they made, that was all done for purposes of propaganda and mind control, and that um, people that were trying to drive a wedge between us and Arab and the Arab nations. Like, because we're all people, you know, you and I and everybody here, we're not all that much different from people that are living in Egypt or... Except, except, uh, except, but there's one big difference. What's that? New York pizza. They can't get New York no, pizza. No, 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 they, they can't get New York pizza. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's right. See, that's right, that's the biggest difference. Well, and that's, uh, 
The Americans have spent three to four billion, or sorry, three to four trillion on invading Iraq. Iraq. Yeah, you're right about that. Sixteen. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why I didn't sense the animosity. Back, <laughs> yeah, just three loans last yeah. year, right? Did you? I don't know if you had an audit. Well, yeah, the Federal right. Reserve is a private bank. Right. Yeah, so you know, so you're. I know. You're educated. Educated. Right, that, this money is not printed up by the U.S. government. No. Right? This money is printed up by the Federal Reserve. Yeah, thank you. You want part of Canada? Vancouver? Oh, Vancouver. Oh, wow, yeah. I'm jealous. Yeah. I live in San Francisco. Come with us. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's been as much as we can. Oh, cool. Yeah. We're very similar cities. It's very similar, yeah. You know, the thought process. Uh, yeah. I've been following the show. You ever seen a show called Continuum? Oh. No. It's, uh, it's, they filmed it all in Vancouver. It's Canadian. Uh, yeah. Continuum. 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 Yeah, it's about a... Uh, I don't watch a lot of TV. Well, you're probably Good. better off. But it's a... Uh, uh, yes, I uh, I did to come back all next month. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll be back all next month. You got so. that? All right. Well, you know what? Kick some ass this year, guys, and uh, nice you we'll support you as much as we can. Yeah. Very good. I'm going to do this. I'm going to hang on a second here. I'm going to... I got a system here. Does that work? Why am I having so much difficulty? And, uh, uh, you know what? Props to legitimate rape. Thanks, guys. Yes. <laughs> Very important. Yes. You know? I love yes. It's a good. It's a good way of uh, uh, making sure you don't get pregnant. Oh, yes. <laughs> make sure. You, know? <laughs> you guys have a good evening. Right, bye. -bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love meeting people like that. I was wondering, it's like, there's no animosity, no weird vibes. These guys have such low stress levels in their energy field. They must be from Canada. <laughs> yeah, no doubt, huh? right. All right. Just be aware where you're pointing your camera. That's all you gotta do. Do what? I said just be aware where you're pointing your camera. Right, you right. Um, that was really good. I wish I could have stayed longer, but... We were dropping viewers, and oh yeah, it's time to go back to work. Get some action. So everybody, we're uh, you get to see me. Woohoo! <laughs> Here I am, the big old Clark, and uh, I'm your live streamer. Uh, I'm happy to be here in New York. Have the opportunity to come down to Wall Street. Uh, I'm also happy to be able to uh, uh, speak to you, the viewers, because I know and love you all. You know that, and. Uh, I'm doing it for you so you can see what's going on down here. Because when I was injured and couldn't walk around, I would spend a lot of time looking at live streams just wishing that I was there. And especially when the police would come in to move in and start arresting people and break up the occupies. So uh, I'm trying to do the same thing for other people. And if you don't live stream, I think you should. Everybody can live stream. All you need is a smartphone and a good cell phone plan. Uh, I use Metro PCS, but there's other I think Sprint has an unlimited plan. You want to make sure that you have unlimited bandwidth because streaming will eat up all of your bandwidth. So get a nice smartphone and go with Metro, PCS, or Sprint. And there are unlimited plans. Don't use T-Mobile or Verizon or AT&T because they don't have unlimited plans. Or unless you got money to burn and you want to run up your bill. So, but anybody can live stream. Um, we ask, you know, we're uh, uh, the more people that are at demonstrations to live stream, the safer that people, people are, protects us against the police department, and it protects us against the government, and uh, it's also a good, good reason for you to come down to a demonstration. A lot of times uh, when I'm in San Francisco, um, I don't always want to go out all the time, you know, but uh, when I'm live streaming and I have to cover something, well then uh, that makes a difference. Makes a difference. I'm going to find a bathroom here real quick, and I'll be right back. See what we got? There's that. Well, the Burger King's way the hell upstairs. It's up all those stairs, though. All right. Well, after I get the after we get the, I'll just run out right there right now. I'll be right back. Okay. I can make it. You sure you don't want some help? No, I got it. I'll be right back, folks. Okay, let me grab my little bag here. All right.
Actually, you know what? Just place yeah. the chair on one. On one. All right. Hello guys, I'm uh, watching the live stream. I'm the live stream babysitter. You can call me Trinity. Uh, Clark's called me Trinity accidentally twice today, and I think that's what I'm going to just go by from here on. My name's Tiffany, so it's pretty close. And I'm not a really huge fan of the name Tiffany, honestly, so it's okay. I, diamonds are cool and stuff, you know, but anyways. Yeah, so I guess I'll just give you a bit of a glance of the city while Clark runs off and does his thing. Iris is acting a little funny. It seems to be flashing quite a bit. I don't want to make you guys dizzy. But, uh, here's beautiful New York City. And, um, uh, trying to think of any interesting stories I can tell while I'm standing here. Uh, the, uh, it's like the meditation group hasn't gotten any more people. It's way the heck back there. Y'all probably can't see that very well. But, um, I don't know if you can, you can see the NYPD, like, uh, let me put my, uh, look, if I can use my finger, the NYPD thing, they're like, they can probably see me pointing at them. <laughs> uh, the police have been, like, uh, relatively quiet and mellow tonight. They usually are anyways. I did a, uh, I did a, um, an occupation in front of the British consulate for a little while. I didn't start it, but I ended up finishing it basically because um, the guys that started it ran off to the RNC and uh, they took off the day after I arrived and I didn't realize I was going to be sitting there for 24-7 uh, by myself. But anyways, um, so not by myself the whole time. People came to like relieve me to go to the bathroom here and there, but um, what was my point? Oh, being at, in front of the consulate, they ended up having two cops there with me at all times uh, as I distributed information. And, and just to tell the rest of the story, I was at the consulate because of uh, Julian Assange. He's stuck in the Ecuador embassy and was spreading awareness about his predicament and uh, really letting people know about basically, you know, whether or not you like Julian Assange isn't really so much the point as what his freedom represents. Uh, the way that they're treating him and the, the behavior of governments uh, is indicating uh, something that's going on in our system, uh, something that uh, the free press is affected, our freedom of speech is effective. Um, so many things. Uh, he, he must be protected in order uh, for things to run for a free world to continue on. You guys may or may not agree with me on that, but uh, I'll check and see if anybody's written anything. I'm not like a pro live streamer, so please forgive me. But uh, Tiffany, yes, uh, from Douglas, I see, uh, I see you've written my name. Um, if you guys want to like see what I'm up to. I'm, um, I'm Defend Assange. I'm at Defend Assange, uh, A-S-S-A-N-G on Twitter, and um, also on Tumblr, which is defendassange.tumblr.com. And uh, I basically, I mean, I don't know if I need to explain that much more, but what I've done is I've basically focused in on one thing and gone really hard on it spreading a lot of awareness for him. I don't I don't know if enough people are defending Julian. And, and you know, every cause d deserves defense. And uh, so I'm, I'm focusing more so on Julian for personal reasons. And also, just because it's it's great. It's a, it's a great cause. It's, it's honestly, it's kind of a dangerous cause. Uh, the whole rape thing. You know, people make a lot of judgments and and uh, even occupiers have, you know, taken sides on that, like some kind of feminist type uh, thought, thinking, you know, that there's victims in this situation. And anyways, I'm not going to get into this too much right now because you guys aren't my viewers. 
you were my viewers, I might go off, but I, I don't know. These are Clark's viewers. I don't want to... Um, but here, here he comes. That was really fast. He had to go up a bunch of stairs. So uh, here comes Mr. Clark on his way. And, uh, oh yes, the Ecuadorian embassy in, uh, in London. Sweden did not drop the charges against him. He is stuck there. He's at 91 or 92 days. 91 or 92 days uh, in that damn embassy in like a 10 foot by 8 foot room or something. It looks like our pizza's ready. Um, yeah. Uh, so you can find out about his situation at my blog, defendassange.tumblr.com. I've got a bunch of info on there. And there's a bunch of info on my Twitter too. So you got that, love? Uh, we're going to stop the live stream for a few minutes, folks. We'll be right back. i got to carry a pizza up there, and I only have two hands. So I'll be right back. Can you grab the pizza with you for a sec? Yeah. And what I'll do is I will be right back, so just give me a couple minutes, with, and we'll be up at uh, the uh, Trinity, Trinity Church. Just a sec.